Welcome to J-Dubs Aquatics. Today I'm going to show you the plumbing and leak test for my 75 gallon Marineland reef tank build. After three trips to the hardware store, I finally got everything I need. I started by assembling the manifolds and laying everything out on the floor. I then measured, cut, and dry fit everything before gluing. So here is how my plumbing is going to be laid out. I have a one and a half inch drain pipe and a one inch return. Coming down the drain here, it goes into a PVC and then into a one inch ball valve. And then there's a one inch union for taking my filter sock off easily. And then it goes into PVC and then into 245s and then it'll drain straight down into the filter sock. Here we have my JBow DC 9000 return pump going into a vinyl hose and then going into a one inch ball valve. In hindsight I probably don't need that ball valve because my pump is controllable so I may end up taking that out. From there it goes into a one inch union then to a 90 degree to another one inch union and then to the manifold I built. I assembled this manifold out of two T fittings, two 90 degrees, some PVC, two threaded ball valves, and two uh, barbed hose fittings. Then goes into another one inch union, into another T fitting, which is uh, draining back into my skimmer section if I'd like to recirculate some of the water. And then from there it goes into another 90 degree, and then to another one inch union, and then it's returned back into the tank. Once everything was dry fitted and lined up properly, I went ahead and started gluing. Everything came out pretty well, although it was a little sloppy with the purple primer. But as long as it doesn't leak, I'm okay with it. So now it's time for the leak test. So far, so good. As you can see, I'm getting a ton of flow off the returns. I'm running my JBow DC9000 on the lowest setting and I can't really turn it up much or I get too much flow through the sump. So maybe that ball valve will come in handy after all. Here you can see the drain with the one inch ball valve going into the one inch union. There's a lot of movement in that first section already so I may not even need an extra power head in there. Here we have the recirculation line and if I open that valve, I could recirculate some of the water that's already been filtered once. So the water flows through my sump, through the skimmer, into the refugium section, and then into the media section. I still have a few modifications I think I'm going to do here to get the flow going up and over a little better. I think I'm going to put some silicone on top of that baffle in order to make the water flow up and over a little more instead of dropping straight down. Here's a look at the manifold where I'll be able to run my reactors and I'm very glad I put this in because this is going to also going to give me something to do with the extra flow off that return. I'm proud to say this is my first reef tank build with a sump and I did all the plumbing myself and so far everything has come out pretty good. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. If you enjoyed this video Make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks again, and happy fish keeping.